Well, we're hoping uh, we're on okay. Um, I'm just watching. Oh, there's uh, Barry Cohn already saying, welcome to my office. Well, thank you very much, Barry. Uh, I'm Alex Bennett. This is our little, uh, I don't know what we call these things, debriefings, whatever. You can just ask me questions. We talk, and uh, we'll do it for about uh, maybe the next half hour. Uh, all you do is uh, to chat with me. It's just right in the little uh, chat bar over at the side, and that should uh, that should do it. I'm, my stream is still initializing. I don't know if yours is, but uh, it, it seems to be okay, I guess, because you people, wow, punctual. Happy Tuesday, less than a month ago. Uh, let's, oh, I see. Yeah, original Steve's online. He says testing. Why is mine just... There we go. Now we're fine. Oh, wow. Gee, because people slow down. Jeez almighty. We, you know, today already, just to start out with, we have 79 people. Now 93 are watching. Yeah, I don't know if you get that on yours. I get that on mine all the time. Okay. Let me, <laughs> let me start at the bottom. Welcome to my office. This is Barry Cohn. Lonnie Latham says, wow, punctual. Vernon uh, Nunn says, happy Tuesday. Uh, Dennis, okay. Uh, oh, boy. I'm, this is going to get to be a problem. Um, there are a lot of you out there. <laughs> and, uh, oh, boy. We're already up to 93 watching right now. This is amazing. If I, I thought if I'd get to, like, uh, 60, I'd be happy today. Uh, Ver, Vernon, uh, Pat, oh, boy. This is going to be a difficult thing. Let's take a hold it like this. There we go. Patrick says, oh, my God. No, that it moves too fast, too. I'm going to just have to take him from the top here. Rachel Cooper, I love you. Uh, Jacob Blitter, did you find out any more about your dismissal at the exit meetings? No, the exit meetings are rather, in a way, it's a cruel process, but I had to say to the woman who did it, you know, it's kind of like, in old England, when they would chop your head off, just before the execution would chop your head off, you would give the executioner like a coin. And I felt like giving her a coin. I mean, what a terrible job she's got, dealing with people like me all the time, uh, having to, uh, you know, throw me uh, uh, out and have me sign things. I had, I had like stuff I had to sign that uh, I think my first born if I ever have one at this point is theirs uh, just so I could get a, a, a 16 week severance deal um, yeah I get paid for another 16 weeks and I get insurance for the health insurance for the next 16 weeks wow wow we went over a hundred um, so consequently that was uh, you know uh, it, 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 you got to sign this thing otherwise you don't get the money and the thing says things like, there was one thing in there, uh, you will not sue the company for age discrimination. What? You know, I can do that anyway, whether I sign this or not, if I find that there was age discrimination involved. So that's what I went through. Uh, let me see. Over 100 excited, says Don Brown. Jared Wilson says, hi, Alex. Megan Belknap says, you look great, Alex. Uh, Renee Collins says, nice, Dennis. And Richard Sheckman, hey, Shecky! Shecky, he says, I'm here. Good for you, Shecky. He's are you sitting over at Letterman right now and watching this? Using the company's resources to watch this piece of crap? Renee Collins. Uh, uh, let me see here. I don't understand that. Original Steve says, Alex, when, when you do the news, uh, get Danny Meehan at WMCA to press hat out of storage and uh, ch change the cap. I used to work with a guy named Danny Meenan. Danny Meenan was the quintessential newsman. He used to talk like this, and he'd go, Danny Meenan, the WMC News, Mr. Mayor. And he would have this hat, you know, like the press people were supposed to have. I think the only thing he didn't have, it didn't have the things and press in it. Uh, and that was, that was Danny Meenan. I gotta slow down here. You people are writing me so fast. How many people are watching right now? Well, we're up to, we're 102 watching right now. Uh, Renee Collins says, Sheck is in the house. No, it's Shecky. Um, Megan Belknap says, hi, Renee. They're saying hello to each other. What was the thing that somebody said today that you could actually put both of them on the screen at the same time and they could talk to each other via video? Let me, let me give you an update on something. Uh, 
John, I have my iPad here. I really should have brought it in. Uh, there is a new app for live stream for the iPhone. That I know. I know it may also be for Android too. The old one they had was for original live stream. This is for new live stream. And it is, um, uh, it now has our program on it. So all you do is you type in Alex Bennett. Go the whole name because then it'll say Alex Bennett, Great American Broadcast. And then you push on that and you can listen to us on your phone or watch us on your phone, um, which is pretty damn good. Um, all this is becoming, you know, I, I, there, when I was younger, I could pretty well comprehend almost anything technological. Now, I don't know if the reason is that everything's become so sophisticated that the sophistication has gone beyond me. Uh, and the problem with that is, is that uh, if it's gone, it, it, that I, I'm having a hard time comprehending stuff. That, in other words, how it works. Unless somebody shows me, then when somebody shows me, I understand it. Uh, but one of the things that's been vexing me is, is Albert is adamant, I mean absolutely adamant, about us being able to make available an audio-only podcast of the show, at which we would do through iTunes and do through the Android store. So the question is, how do you get on there? Well, you have to fit and make out files, and it's a whole process I really don't understand. And so I have my good friend, James Rose, who years ago built a little program. When I first did the first podcast back in 1997, uh, we came up with a thing. I put the thing on my site. You know, you could play it off my site. But we created a program called Auto Alex, and you simply put it on your machine, and then you did a few things, and every day it would download a new show onto your onto your uh, computer. Uh, later on, that kind of became what iTunes was. Only you know we didn't go out and copyright Auto Alex. We just did it for the fun of it. So he James, who did that, is coming over to show me how to get this stuff on iTunes and how to get it on Android. And I thank him because otherwise, 112 people are watching right now. If we break 200, I think I'm going to go out and, I don't know, get drunk or something. Uh, let's take some questions now. If you could slow down and just not go high back and forth to each other for the time being, okay? Because I, I, I wish that I had more room on this chat, but if you move too fast, I can't get to everything. Matthew Burtz is looking good. Terminology has changed, that's all, says Lonnie uh, Lanham. Uh, Vernon Nunn. One of my favorite quotes of all time, I don't completely understand everything I know about this. <laughs> Matthew Bird says, looking good, Alex. Uh, Renee says, to show us the same time has something to do with call manager. Call Garrett. I don't know what that, what that means. Anyway, who else we got on here? Um, Mike Campbell, get a new hat. Yeah, I wore this hat yesterday. It was sitting in here, so I put it on. It's, it's not that I'm ashamed of this. Okay, it really isn't. It's just that I like the way I look with this. That's all. Um, and why do guys who are bald wear caps? Well, let me explain. So they won't get a sunburn on the top of their head. Let me see here. By the way, let me also say that yesterday uh, was the first day that we had this up. And, and people were going to it to see various things. We, you know, we, we scroll down uh, right below me is yesterday's show, which I'll get rid of a bit and um, below that was like the Great American Broadcast opening and below that was something else we got rid of and below that was my original statement about here here's what we're gonna do so those things were there and people came on and, and watched those and I was looking to see what the um, what the count was at any given time. As you can see, there are 109 people watching right now. Well, usually it never went below 40. Usually went went as high as 60 once, but it was in that range. Then I don't know how long people would watch this, whether it was for 10 minutes or 20 minutes. I, I figured if every one of them did it in an average of 15 minutes, we had almost anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 people watching this page yesterday, uh, which is overwhelming. I mean, you may notice up above the followers 
are at a slightly different rate. Uh, there we have, uh, well, last time I looked, it was 483 followers. But you know to be a follower and to be able to chat, you have to sign in to live stream. And by signing in to live stream, uh, a lot of people don't want to do that. They don't want to do the Facebook thing. They don't want to give their name out or whatever. So the 483 is just people who have chosen to follow. But I think yesterday we may have had close to 2,000 visitors. I, I, I'm not trying to overestimate this. A lot of people uh, do. Okay, let's ask some more, uh, answer some more questions now. Um, let's see here. Lynn TG uh, says, so you think Sirius is watching to see if you talk nasty about them? Everybody wave. Okay, everybody wave. Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, they know I'm doing this because I announced it on the air. They seem to ha I seem to have their blessings to plug it like crazy. So, you know, they've been, let me put it this way, they've been good to me. Uh, it's just this thing where I think they went a little wrong on me. Uh, and I had a long talk with one of the executives today uh, about this, one of the guys that let me go. And I said, you know, first thing I said when I walked into the office was, I'm here to apply for a job. Um, that got a laugh. But then I said to him, you're telling me that of 150 stations, you don't have any room for me. And he said, well, I can't tell you things that are happening around here or whatever, but there will be a lot of changes with new channels coming on, new things allocated to certain things. And he says, yeah, I could put you on a channel right now, but it might not be there in two weeks and you'd be out of work anyway. So he said, I wouldn't want to do that to you. So that, that, that's his reasoning. I asked if, there's a, if the door is always open, and he said, you know, if, if I asked him, I said, I hope that when a job becomes available, you might consider me first. And uh, he said, I will. So, you know, who knows? That's going backward. It's a question of if this is going to work. Now, what seems to be obvious to me and, and kind of interesting is that this works. You know, it, it's, it's funny. I'm just sitting here talking to you, answering your, your chats, and that works. Uh, and I begin to wonder, already I'm starting to say, well, how do we adapt my, what I do with radio, uh, to television? Are we going to get too fancy with the television, or would a shot like this with a nice background be enough? And I just answer phones and read chats that come in from people. Uh, that certainly would be uh, be really nice, and uh, maybe this is the method. Uh, maybe this simplified, very in easy method is the way of doing it. And I could read the news, and I could, uh, you know, what do the, the, the these are people who died, and Albert can run a video of these are people who died as a theme, anyway, you know. But simplify it and keep it this simple, uh, rather than try and do some kind of real heavy television show, and then if I have somebody I'm going to interview or is in that I interview, well, I'll have another camera on them and we'll talk back and forth, and that's it. I, I want to, I think uh, this, uh, people seem to really like this. 118 people are watching right now. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll be, I'm happy with that. Okay, let's answer some more questions here. As long as it's not, uh, Don Brown says, as long as it's not stars, didn't work out so well for Lynn, uh, that's basically a female-based channel now. Michelle Bondi, my old friend Michelle. Hi, Michelle. How are you, darling? How's your health? Because she went through some operations. Says, this is so great. Wait a minute. I just lost you now. See, that's the problem with this, uh, with this chat. And I can't. I wish I could extend it so it went long, but I can't. Uh, Michelle says, this is so great. I could not ever get up early enough to listen to you on the West Coast. Love it. Well, when we do this show, it'll be on at 7 o'clock in the morning on the West Coast. Um, we might change the time on it, finding out how people like it or don't like it. Uh, let me see here. Um, let me do something else. I want to try something else so you can see what, what's going on, although you, you see it better than I do. But I can do this. Watch this. This is kind of cool. Watch. Um... Let me see here. I can't see where I did it though. Oh, there it is. Okay. See, you can see all the writing here now. Um, 
but it's a little delayed. So anyway, I just thought I'd let you see that. And then there's another way we can do it, which is uh, like uh, like this. And uh, right. So uh, anyway, people are uh, writing in and doing all of that. It's uh, it, it, it's fun. Uh, anyway, where are we? Let's go back to the uh, the uh, chat here. Uh, Lou Paulus, oh boy, Jacob Letter says, how are you going to make money if the show is for free, now there are no ads, and also, what about bathroom breaks? Well, there will not be, I will, you know, I'll tell you, um, as I got older, I had prostate problems, and as I got older, I had to pee maybe three times an hour, and then uh, medicine came along, and uh, currently I'm using the best one I've used, which is Daily Cialis, uh, <laughs> which oddly enough, I'm not using for boner, although it, it, it really helps, uh, but because uh, it keeps me from having to pee. I, when I pee, I pee a lot, and then I don't have to pee for a couple hours, maybe two or three hours, maybe sometimes four if I don't remember to pee. So I'm not worried about that. As long as I've got my, uh, my medicine, I'm, I'm okay. Donatella Morgan, hello Donatella. Never met you before, hello Alex. Shereen Jedfig, big. Uh, I love this. I spend most of my time online more uh, convenient and more fun than XM. Um, you know, I have a new slogan, and I was telling it to them with serious, and it didn't, it didn't go over that well, that I have a slogan about what we're doing here, and that slogan is very simply, uh, all the fun without the rusty satellites. Uh, it's really what, what's happening. There are more people, I think in a certain way, there are more people available to me right now worldwide, okay, than there are when I do the radio program at Sirius. Um, it's nice that that's, those satellites are up there. It's nice they got 24 million people, but if you think about it, how many people are there on the face of the earth that can get the internet, and I'm playing to them. So uh, we might even be on in China for all I know. Wendy H. says, I like the casual background. Love this format, Alex. Well, it would be nice if I could start taking phone calls, uh, but I'm at home and I don't have a, a phone system, and I'm not giving you my private phone number. It's not that I don't trust you, but after the show is over, I don't want to get a call in the middle of the night. I was thinking, of, if and one of you wants to try Skype, okay? And please, when I give a, well, you can go online if you have Skype and get my number. It's A. Bennett iMac. Wait a minute. No, that's the wrong one, I think. I think it's this one over here. That's the one over here. That's the iMac. What is... Well, let's give it a try anyway. Um, and see if it rings on this one. If any of you have Skype. Okay? Alex, check out Huffington Post and see how they use Google Video Chat to take callers in conference mode. We're, we're, we're looking at a lot of things. Take it a step at a time. I've got to get on Monday and do some kind of show where you people are going to be enjoying yourselves. And, uh, and, and I don't want to pay that much attention to the video at this point. That will come as we become more comfortable with the, with the place we're doing it and so on. First of all, we want to do an audio show. Um, as I say, I'm working tomorrow on getting this thing on iTunes, getting this thing on uh, Android Store, uh, and, and we'll, we'll do all of that uh, first, and then we'll worry about the video. We'll worry about what we're doing with the video. I mean, it can be this simple as long as I can like take calls and show you a few things, and you know, uh, it, it, we got to take it a step at a time. Okay. Uh, original Steve. Let me see who else is here. Um, Google conference video chats are better than Skype. Good. Fine. Uh, now you can do a show whenever you feel like it. You just have to say, uh, have to away, uh, uh, way to notify all your followers so they can tune in. Actually, they do get notified. Um, there is a notification. I don't know if I, should, if I actually push the button on it. So I don't know if you're getting notifications at this point. But I can notify everybody who is at least a follower that we're doing a program. Hi, okay, cancer. Oh, Michelle, really? No kidding. Uh, she's an old friend of mine, love her dearly. She's a sweetie. Uh, is there any way to minimize the screen? Minimize what screen? 
uh, this the screen you're watching me on yeah if you go down to uh, I think you can you can go full screen where where, where is it doesn't it have a thing where it says full screen yeah if you bring up the bar uh, you, you get a thing at the top that says full and you get full screen or you then I guess you use escape or whatever to make it go away I think they notify us by email. Oh, is it by email? Okay. I, you know, I don't know whether you want to, do you want me to send out those notifications so that you're reminded of when it's going on? Because I don't want to annoy people. I always hate it when I get tons of mail like that. Um, Alex, uh, let's see here. What do we got? Donatella Morgan. I see 122 on my end. Yeah, there's 122 people right now. Um, okay, let me see here. Peter, uh, Patrick. What is your Skype? I think it's A. Bennett iMac. But you might go on to Skype. I think they have a directory there. And just put in Alex Bennett and see what it is. And if it comes up, I'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see about uh, talking with you. Um, let me see here. I just clicked pop out and it made this screen pop out, minimized. God, you people are, are learning stuff about this I never knew. You can actually pop the screen out? Really? I didn't realize that. Um, let me see here. How long have we been on already? Wow, 21 minutes. It's going on forever. We're up to 127 people out there. Keep them coming, folks. Keep them coming. Okay, now, uh, shall I, uh, I'd like to answer some just... I'll tell you what you do. Just send me uh, right now for chatting. Just send me a question. And I will answer the questions one at a time. Because if I keep getting this stuff like... Uh, uh, I, uh, oh, James Rose is out there. James, he did the he did the original auto. Alex, uh, there are three icons. Oh, wait a minute. There's no way to stop this thing from from moving. James Rose says there are three icons to change screen size, and they are below your image on the right. Chat mode, larger, and full screen. Wait a minute. Where is that now? There are three icons. Oh, I just lost them now. There are three icons on the right. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Oh, there I see what they are. Yeah, yeah. And then I can make, I, I lost my chat though, so I can't talk to anyway. So there's the chat. And um, I guess uh, I can't make it, I don't think, I, I don't know how to make it bigger. You can show me tomorrow when you come over. Oh, we're down to 119, are we? Wait a minute, was it, how, were, how high were we? Okay, there's some people dropping out. This must be boring. Uh, Donna Telemorgan, yes, it's weird to see your full headshot coming through my computer. Uh, Norman, uh, Newport Norman says, talk about the SCOTUS ruling today. Uh, I, uh, I, I am not aware of it, to be, tell you the damn truth. I haven't been paying attention to the news. Was there a SCOTUS ru ruling? And doesn't SCOTUS remind you... Uh, 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 doesn't SCOTUS remind you of, of Scrotum uh, on some level? I, sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to get uh, ridiculous. Okay. I'm still trying to read these things. Uh, chat mode, larger and full screen. I, 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 I don't really... Um, you'll have to show me tomorrow, James. Uh, let me see here. What Dennis just asked was, he wanted to ask about the implications of the Supreme Court on voting rights for minorities. Okay, I did not see the headline on it. Uh, let me do this. Let me go to uh, Drudge. That's the best place to go to get these uh, things imme immediately. Um, uh, oh, Jesus. My typing is getting terrible lately. Either that or this keyboard sucks. Let me see here. Putin, no, Putin Harbor's comrade doesn't say anything. Is that, did that just come on, come across the news? Uh, Skype not working in the uh, okay. So uh, I I don't know what my uh, what my account number is. That's offline. That one. Now, hold on a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna if you can bear with me for a second. I'm trying to find out what my Skype stuff is. Away now, it's fine. I'm online now. The question is, what is my address? 
Um, wait a minute, hold on. Let me go here. Um, hmm. Alex, try just try Alex Bennett. Um, because I I have a, a oh boy I I really don't know what it is to be honest with you. It says it's you. Okay. But you see, I have an iMac over here, and I think it may be for that one, is what I'm thinking. Um, obviously, the majority of SCOTUS don't know the wording of the 15th Amendment. I, I wish I could argue with you on this, but I don't know what happened. I have, I, I've moved, I, oddly enough, I've been watching the news this afternoon. In fact, let me tell you something. Ever since I got the word about this, I have, I've had a, been, it's been very difficult for me to watch newscasts. And I absolutely cannot watch MSNBC. When girlfriend's home and she's watching MSNBC, I say, we just turn that off. Because I've spent the 130 you're now watching. I just spent the last 9.2, uh, nine years plus of my life listening to these morons so I could comment on something tomorrow. And I just don't feel like hearing it anymore. Disney called, they want your pay for the rights to show Mickey Mouse doll. Oh, should I blur that out? Hey, I bought that doll. Anyway, uh, 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 let's see here. Um, that's from Steve Weiner. Oh, Steve Weiner. Hi, Steve. How are you? Steve Weiner. Steve, you're watching this? Uh, it's just to me, and I'm not getting anything in the chat box. Boy, yesterday it was a, it was a slightly better show here because it would, I didn't have as many people watching. This is going to be a major problem we're going to have is when we go live with this other show, we're going to probably get more than just what we're getting now. And these chats go by so incredibly fast, we actually may have to set up a chat thing and do it through somebody else so that we can slow it down. Because if you've got like... Uh, oh wow why did I suddenly uh, okay I just went blank there okay I'm, I'm fine here we go um, let me see here well I, uh, let's see here will you have Michael Billy on the show before you leave no uh, Corey Sullivan at S Steve Weiner ha right he's a very funny guy uh, Donatella Morgan are you still buds with uh, Mr. Men's Warehouse? No, no, I mean, I interviewed him years ago, and I really like the guy. Uh, and the latest news is he's going to try and buy Men's Warehouse back from the people who wrested it from him. Uh, Barry Cohn, Alex, the chats can scroll up and down. Yeah, but the problem is that when somebody else books in or writes something in, it just moves the whole thing around. I can't, like say, okay, I want him to just stay still and I will move it. Lonnie Lanham, uh, Lanham says, you'll need tech support to handle all the questions. Hi, Rick Taylor from PEI Canada. All the best. We're up to 140 viewers on this thing. Uh, why did Albert have to go? Uh, uh, I would have no idea. Is how we're going to be on your show this week? I don't know. He said something on the air on his show about coming down to see me, but I don't know if he uh, if he's going to. But it would be nice. It would be nice if he did. Couldn't do it today because they were making a movie. And because uh, if he were to come down to my studio, they got to bring the television cameras and everything with them so that he can still be on the air on his show. Uh, and uh, there were uh, they were shooting a movie at Sirius. And uh, with Chris Rock or something. And, you know, when they make movies, uh, it had to be short because they were there actually filming for maybe three, four hours. That's actually filming. That was it. And then they left. But in the meantime, the setup took all night, and they had, like, hundreds of people in there. And so if anybody wanted to do something, I'd come down from my, it would be absolutely impossible. Possible. Real Steve, it'd be nicer if Howard admitted to listening to you on WMCA. Uh, you know, something I like it better that he doesn't, and that he is nice enough that he's nice to me. And I, I, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, 
Alex, there's no need to address all the chats. Just take a question and ignore the rest. That's a good idea. So send me questions, people. Uh, can you up the volume? No, the volume is up, I think, as high as it's going to get. Let me look. Yeah, that's as high as the volume is going to get. See, I don't have a microphone attached to this. Uh, and if I did, uh, we might be able to not uh, have a problem that way. Uh, but uh, it's, it's just, you know, I'm using the screen and the camera and the screen. It's, that's very simple. Uh, where are we? Let me, let me get rid of that. Uh, will you still ask Albert if you're right? Yeah, constantly. <laughs> you know, there's a reason why I kept saying, am I right, Albert? And here's the reason why. I'm sitting in the studio. And then in front of me are a couple of monitors, the back of a couple of monitors that Albert is using to do the show with. And I can't really physically see him, okay? So when I say, right, Albert, that means, hey, Albert, I'm talking to you. Now, normally, if I could see him, I would just look at him and go, what do you think? You know, and so that's why I would say, right, Albert. The chat box works perfectly for me. The video and audio are fine also. I'm in the rural part of Arkansas, but I have DSL service, and that's pretty reliable. Volume great here, says Dennis. Please turn up the volume, says Me Megan. Maybe Megan needs a hearing aid. I hear you fine from my end. Up to 143, by the way. Oh, yeah, I feel stupid. No, I forgot. No mic. You know, the funny part about this is uh, I, we might get to 150 people watching this, and some people have dropped in and dropped out. But then throughout the day, we'll get, like, a thousand viewers looking at this thing when, when it archives. Um, let me see, uh, where, where you go? Oh yeah, I feel stupid now, I forgot, no mic. Yeah. I hear you, uh, I hear you fine. What, what about Michael and the movie reviews? Well, uh, I don't think so. Uh, I think that, you know, uh, I, it's, it's just, you know, I think it's time to put that to rest, okay? I mean, if you disagree, write me here and let me know. Uh, Andrew Deutsch says, great to see you, Alex. That studio looks different than the one I visited. I'm excited to watch you in this format. This is my, um, this is my office in, at home. Uh, and I was trying to figure out how to hook up a camera so I could, like, move it around. Uh, if I signed off here, I could do it using the um, iPhone version of, uh, of this program. But uh, I didn't want to have to do this. Steven, Pearl, Steven, are you out there? If you mention me, I'll send you a shoebox full of steaks. Steven, Pearl? Steven, how did you find out about this? He's a very funny comic, by the way. Very Albrecht Sr., probably a boring question to everyone. But whatever happened to Joe Rogelski? This that's a that's an is an amazing question. Whatever happened to Joe Rogelski? Um, Joe Rogelski was my newsman way back in uh, 1981, 80, 80, and, uh, and he remained my newsman for about uh, two years, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, and then I did a uh, separation from the. St we we separated. The st we went to another station. I brought him with me, and we went to that station. It had problems. It was bought up by somebody else. Uh, they wanted me to do their format. I had a thing in my contract saying I didn't have to do anybody's format. That I I had a right to determine what was happening on my show. And I. Um, said it was either play or pay. So I said, I'm leaving, you gotta keep paying me. And they had to keep paying me. We got we got all lawyered up and everything. And Joe stayed with the station and I left. And then I went to work at another station and uh, I couldn't bring him with me because he was at this other station and under contract to it. So I started using a woman named Lori Thompson and that became, more people know me associated with her than they know me associated with, uh, with Joe Rogelski. But thanks for the question. Uh, Artie, it was great to hear from Randy today. I have missed her. What, what is that about? What does that have to do with any of this? Uh, James Rose says, I think this change could be a very interesting way to get a larger audience than serious. I don't know. You know, I got 142. Now we're losing people now. I blew away two people. They got tired of me. 
Um, let's see here. Um, I'm surprised to hear from Randy today. What, what's that about? I have no idea. What are you, what are you guys talking about? Um, let's see here. I, I'd rather hear more of Bruce David with conspiracy theories than Michael with movie reviews. I could probably arrange that for you. Uh, he'd be more than happy to do that. Uh, Stephen Pearl said, hey, I didn't slip you that scene out to talk. I gave you to play some Fabian records. I never had this problem uh, uh, with, um, oh, wait a minute, where are we? Jeez. See, the thing slips by. I had that trouble with Alan Freed. Uh, I don't know what this whole stuff is with Marty. Sal and I have contacted Live have, have contacted Live 105. About what? Uh, Renee Collins says, yes, Bruce is great. Okay. Megan Bellamp says, put earbuds in and uh, the old broad can hear fine. Thanks. Marty K says, I remember both Joe and Lori and those were the days. We have a lot of people joining us here. I don't even know if they were uh, listening to me on a Sirius XM. This is a whole, whole new audience. This is wonderful. Um, I assume, Patrick, you couldn't find out how to uh, Skype me. I just wish I knew what the Skype uh, number was. Okay, am I talking too fast for the rest of you, or should I slow down? Because uh, I'm just doing this, you know, it, it, all of this information is just absolutely uh, uh, coming at me at a rather increasing rate. And I'm trying to Quickie's still going to be done. I don't know yet, okay? Because we only, we're only going to have two lines in the new studio. I'd like to, okay? Maybe not initially. Old friend, part of your new audience, Linda Crawford. I know you, Linda. Nice, uh, nice to hear from you. Um, Dennis, Quickie's still going to... You know, we did that one. Will your wife make a guest spot? Eh, maybe it might happen eventually. But, you know, what's going to happen with this new show... By the way, what you're watching here is what I just call a test. It's me having a little bit of fun, being able to talk to you uh, and answer maybe some questions that I couldn't answer on the air. Um, and it's it's very heartening that you're you know that you're here in, in what I consider pretty damn good numbers. Um, uh, I, I, I I listen. I wish there were thousands, and I hope that one day there will be thousands, but. Seeing 142 people are watching now, and I found it's going all the way up to about, I think I saw this go as high as 150. Uh, makes me feel real good. But the show we're going to do isn't going to be from here. This is just me using my camera in my, uh, in my uh, display. The show we're going to do is coming from a studio down on 28th Street, 29th Street. And I hope it's, I got it right. Otherwise, I'll have a hard time getting there on Monday morning. And we're just going to see what happens, you know. It, uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be uh, uh, a nice experiment of what w might or might not happen. Um, and I, uh, I really, uh, you know, I'm going to appreciate if all you people uh, join me. Uh, let me see here. Uh, you know what? I see if I do this, see? You can see the screen, and that's all your people, you people who are writing. Uh, who's going to be on uh, in your time period beginning Monday on Sirius? I was told just temporary replacements because the show they're putting together is not in place yet. And they wouldn't tell me what that was going to be. Uh, but uh, uh, the, whatever on, is on on Monday is not going to be there permanently. Is there any way to share an attachment now? Is there a bar down below like the San Francisco days? No. Uh, Tony Magno, bring back Bruce David. I like it when you argue with him. Uh, I'm loving this new and more interactive format. Uh, well, this is in lieu of foams. Uh, I'm loving this. Uh, let's see here. I, I gotta, I'll, go, I'll go down here. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, not that anyone... No. Now, see how these things move fast? And then I have to keep up with it bring back Bruce David. Do you know what kind of numbers you were drawing as far as listeners go at Sirius? I have no idea. They never let me know. We seem to be losing people. Wow, I've been out 40 minutes. 
we seem to be losing people. Um, maybe I should just, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll just type a thing in here and say uh, still on so that people know that we're not off yet. At, I'm gonna go like that and, uh, and there we go. Ba -ba. And uh, post. Uh, yeah, well, wait a minute. Let me say still on again. Let me do this again. Still on at. And then, uh, who? Um, uh, still on at. Okay, there we go. Oh, that screwed up. No, I don't want to leave this page. I don't know. Anyway, boy, this is uh, this is getting hectic here. This is getting exhausting. Okay, let me uh, go back to my camera so you can see my ugly mug. All right. Okay. Salivers. Oh, geez. Hi, Alex. Okay. Renee, are you going to need a computer geek in the studio? No, we got. A, I got a geek. Uh, Donatello Morgan, Alex, go back to the camera, please. Yeah, well, I did that. 40 minutes is a long time for someone to sit in front of their computer if they have other things to do. Yeah, I got to go masturbate. Uh, do you think uh, knowing how many listeners you have in real time is going to hinder your focus? Well, you know, I mean, if I sat here and all of a sudden I saw I had two, I would have loved to make to make 200 people today, but who knows, I might, I might do this again tomorrow, and we'll do it. I, I would love to see thousands up there. That would be, that would just swell my head like you wouldn't believe. But I'm very happy with 140 because we don't know how many people are going to be watching the rest of the day. So uh, that's, a, that's something to, to think about. This isn't much of a show today because I'm trying to read these chats and they're coming through so fast. People are at work too, Alex. They'll come and go just like the radio. I tuned you off and had uh, client calls. Don't worry about the numbers yet. No, I'm not worried about the numbers yet. Uh, I'd like to hear your personal movie and documentary reviews. Haven't seen any movies that much lately. Um, have you been contacted by any reporters about, yet about your thing? No. I'll tell you what happens. Uh, I've been at Sirius for nine plus years, and the publicity they've done on me has been negligible. There are people, there, there was a, a program director in town that we contacted about just working locally. And the comment he made to the person who approached him for me was, oh, I know Alex. You know, is he still around? Well, I've been, you know, I've been in series for how many years working here in New York? And people don't know, you know, I don't think people really know who's working at Sirius and who isn't. Um, it, it 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 has some problems with its public public relations and uh, how it handles it. And I never felt that I got any real publicity or any real help with publicity. Uh, and so the reporters coming to me for what you know is is somebody being let go at Sirius to the normal media an important story? I do have people who want to do a story about me leaving broadcasting and going into this uh, and I have a, a dear friend of mine who works for a company who says he's gonna he, he has the contacts and he says as soon as you're ready let me know uh, Alex Bennett is still alive says Sal Versa. finally after 27 years I got you back I can reach you in Salt Lake City I was never able to get you from Sirius I still have an unauthorized recordings of your show however I'm not able to play them okay there so they're unauthorized big deal. I've done how many radio shows in my lifetime? Somebody can steal a few. Well, we're starting to slowly lose audience, which means a lot of people are getting very tired. Any of you want me to keep going for a little bit while more? Uh, I'll do it if you want me to. Still have Verizon Air Card. I'm slow. Uh, lots of loading going on. We'll be getting a modem when I get home in two weeks. So, Alex, go way back with you. I picketed at WMCA when they fired you. I've been telling that story about that picket. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, I, re I remember that I didn't want to go to the demonstration because it was a demonstration for me and it's not uh, 
proper <laughs> to plug yourself and to show up at your own demonstration. So I was about a block away and I peeked around the corner because I didn't know what to expect. And here were a thousand people outside the station protesting for me. Just amazing. Just amazing. One of the great moments of my life. <laughs> I learned about your serious show after listening to a promo you did with Mark Thompson on the Traffic Channel. Serious promotion department sucks. I don't think they've asked me to do a promotion in a long time. Larry in L.A. says, hey, Alex, uh, go way back. And, uh, uh, well, he said he picked it when I fired. Uh, go a little while more. Yeah, you want to see the old man suffer and fall apart here. Uh, um, audio live streaming option would be preferable. Okay. Have you thought about making your own app? I, you know, I thought about that today. Um, but there, there is, you know, I have somebody, I have some people that might be able to make an app, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, keep going, says Mike Campbell. Keep going. Talk more about your vision for the new show. You know, I don't have uh, uh, a vision. Uh, I have a vision of going on and doing exactly maybe what I'm doing here, only perhaps not rambling as much and not as... Uh, uh, of the moment, trying to do a real kind of like radio show with video coverage. But I don't say, here's what I want to do, because if you say, here's what I want to do, then that's what you do, and you stick with it, and that's your focus. And I like to see where things take me. I mean, even the radio show at Sirius has e evolved over the years, and, and the, the show as it is today isn't the same show as it was two years ago. Uh, it, it has gone through all kinds of changes based on the ebb and flow of the moment. Uh, as long as I can keep doing that, I don't think I'm going to get to feel too old because changing and evolving is very important. Alex, will you wish us to pay for your program through PayPal? Let me see here. 144 people times $5. I won't pay the rent. Um, but then again, people watching the rest of the day. I don't know. Uh, would you people go for a subscription? It's, it's, you know, my, I said to uh, Sal Aversa, who asked that very question, who'd want to pay to see me? Then he said I underestimate myself. So I don't know. Excuse me for yawning. I'm starting to get tired. I, about this time of the afternoon, old guys get tired. Something has, uh, something that has all the archive, what, what were, Something that has all the archives and even a live stream, audio streaming. Yeah. Uh, you need Albert's prep sheet. I've got to discuss with Albert whether he's going to put one together for me on this new show, whether I'm going to have to do it myself. I think this is going to be a great new project for you, AB. The only risk is you probably won't get as many uh, dissenting callers because people are going to have to find you instead of stumbling. That's true. That's true. Uh, Salvador, yes, I would pay... For sure, we pay already. Well, it's true. Your voice sounds much different through the golden than through the golden mic. That's why we're we're going to use on the show. We're probably just going to use one of the regular microphone in my face, so it sounds like I sound on the radio. Alex, is there anything we can do to make this new format successful? Here's what you can do. Uh, the numbers are going up again now, by the way. Here's what you can do. Tell everybody you know. If you've got a Twitter feed, tell them. If you've got Facebook friends, tell them. If you know somebody who ha has a lot of Facebook friends, ask them if they can put it on their Facebook. In other words, let's use the social media to try and get the word out. To me, that would be the uh, fascinating answer to this question. Uh, that's the help I need from you, getting the word out and getting it out as far and wide as you can possibly get it out. Uh, Bob Oliveira says, as long as the price is not ridiculous, then I would subscribe. I mean, what if we made it five bucks a month? Uh, is that People seem to think that's the reasonable price. But, you know, what's happening in this world is if you pay five bucks for me and there's somebody else you want to hear and there's five bucks for him and then there's another. By the four you know, you're spending a hundred bucks a month to listen to radio. And I, I don't know if you want to do that. You can get a subscription for, for from Sirius for 15 bucks. Um, let me see here. Hi, Alex. I heard you mention Joe Regelsi. Looks like uh, he's at the station called KOZT. He's been there forever. Uh, 
I can do five dollars as uh, Donatella. I surely would pay. Two words, gummy bears. Yeah, uh, I surely would pay. A lot of people go back a long way with me. This is quite a. It's amazing who's watching this thing. What a bunch of people. Wow. Uh, let me see here. Mike Campbell, pancake number three makeup for Monday show. Yeah. Uh, I pay five bucks a month. Uh, Bob Oliveira says, personally, I'm selective, but I find you worth the cost. Uh, we want you, Alex. You're worth much more than that. And I think the money we're saving with all of us canceling the station shall not be named. You know, I'll tell you something about this whole canceling. Oh, Tony's there. Tony from Queens. Keep going. Uh, let, me, let me just say this about canceling your subscription. And I've said this on the air. If you find that you get nothing for your money, then cancel the subscription. Plain and simple. Uh, if you find that you, you know the programming that you once used to get that you like is not there anymore, then you cancel the subscription. But if there's still good programs out there, and you still there's still something you'd like to hear, then don't cancel it. Because as I, I was telling my boss today, I said, he said, thank you for not throwing us to the wolves about asking people to cancel. And I said, well, it would be ridiculous of me to do so. Because let's say a thousand of my people cancel. Let's see, off the bottom line, that's $15,000 a month. And this company makes how much a month? $250 million off subscribers? <laughs> I don't think it's going to hurt you. So, you know, uh, I don't know if that's the answer. Also, there's one other thing, if you're listening to me. There are several people, you guys have been sending letters, mass mailing letters to people, and it's uh, very nice that you've done that. I appreciate it. But some people have been getting them that don't deserve to get them. Um, my friend Laura over at Sirius was telling me, I'm getting all these letters from these people. I didn't do anything. And I love Laura. She's just wonderful. Uh, uh, they them, and Dan is getting them. Uh, he shouldn't be getting them. Uh, so, um, uh, if you're going to send them, you send them to the executives, uh, and you know who those executives are. Uh, <laughs> there was one major executive you didn't send it to, it should be the one getting it, but I'm not going to tell you who he is, because I don't want to be the instigator. Um, you were all I listened to, Alex. I have Spotify for music and you for talk. The only other show I really listen to other than Stephanie, yeah, that is Stephanie, but she's syndicated. Wendy H., I need to keep the serious because there's no good radio stations where I live. Oh, see, that's a good reason to keep it. How do you feel about Bradley Manning and Edward Snowden? I think they show both should be let go and both be given medals, honorary medals, uh, for what they've done in service to their country. I really do. Um, I don't think we should be a nation of secrets. Uh, I don't think we should just be secretive about the world in which we, uh, we inhabit and what we do. And uh, so I, I say that if Edward Snowden comes back, give him a, a Medal of Honor. I think we have some kind of Citizens Medal of Honor for doing good for America. Does that sound right? Does that sound good? I think it should. You know, it makes a lot of sense. Let's see here. Let's, let's look at a few more of these. Uh, um, emails here, uh, uh, chats rather, Don Nolan, oh, you know I can I put myself in here too, uh, 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 let's see here, John, uh, uh, oh Christina, I gotta run, looking good, AB, bye everybody, gee she's watching us while she's doing Jay's show, uh, uh, Bud Fleischer agreed for me, it was you and Howard, and Howard is available free all over. I'm off serious on Saturday morning. Well, again, that's up to you. Vernon says, hi, little Missy. Hey, Christina says, Dennis. Agree 100% about Manning and Snowden. Uh, yeah, I, I uh, yeah. But gee, I'm glad Christina was watching. That, that's very nice. Thank you, Christina. I want to find out about this rumor that somebody called him with today that Jay said something terrible about me on the air, like, I hate him, or good, I'm glad he got fired. You know, something like that, so. Anyway, let me go back to full screen again. I keep forgetting that I'm not full screen. There we go. Um, it's kind of nice that you can do that with these. So anyway, um, 
Let me see, what else do I need to talk to you about? Nothing. You look great. Has this been fun for you people? I, I don't know if it is or not. I, I can't tell because I'm so busy reading these chats and they're going by so fast and I feel like I'm rambling, but are you enjoying it? That, that would be my last great question to you today. Just go yes or no, uh, or maybe, or whatever. Uh, let me see here, my camel, uh, da, 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 da. I agree with Sal a bit more than he needed, than who needed. Uh, very interesting stuff, really, fun, yes. Okay, hell, hell yeah. Uh, 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 yes, this is so much fun. Great fun, never rambling, yes. This is great, yes, yes. It's fun. Will girlfriend visit once in a while? Well, she's prettier than I am, so, you know, you never know. Uh, she's not here right now, and she's so got to go to dinner with some friends, so she's not coming home. But she would be home about this time, so if I do this again tomorrow, maybe we will uh, let you folks at least see her, since this is a very special show for people. Um, Sal Versa says, uh, this is what I said. I don't really trust Snowden. If uh, he were to stop now, I would support him. But he uh, took uh, four laptops uh, of info, hacked the NSA, and then he left. They're saying something. He, I think he said at one point that he actually joined the NSA just to do this. I think that the, the real hero, if we have one, is Bradley Manning. Bradley Manning is the ultimate hero because I think he influenced a guy like... Uh, like uh, Edward Snowden. Now, the, f the question is, how many more people will this influence? And it would really be nice if this suddenly became an epidemic and people everywhere were taking, doing secrets. Um, that would really be terrific. I would enjoy that. Um, hey, listen, I, I'm gonna do three more minutes and that's it. I get, because I'm, I'm getting exhausted and it's been an hour already. It says like watching a monkey, wait a minute, where was that? It's like. Hold on a second. It's like watching a monkey in, in, in football. Okay. Is the audience is lagging behind. Uh, that could be you. If you pause it and then uh, start up again, uh, the uh, audio might not lag. That's what I found. Take care, Alex. Great job. Keep it up. As someone who works in IT, why the hell did the NSA keep important data on, ser uh, on laptops and not servers? Uh, these may have been his laptops that he put stuff on. Uh, I'm sure he got it off a server somewhere. Bradley Manning uh, downloaded it to rewritable CDs. Uh, and he, so he put music on them, like Beyonce or something. And then when he went in, of course, he erased the rewritables, put on the data, and left again. And uh, everybody just thought he had his little CDs of Beyonce. So Anyway, hey, guys. Ah, uh, I'm exhausted. This is, but this is fun, and it is. Oh, 151. We went over 150. Uh, you know, uh, it, it's um, yeah. <laughs> so I just mentioned that uh, laptops can rep replicate to servers and back and forth. Uh, respect, sir. Have a most peaceful evening on the East Coast. 151 says Michael Smith. Uh, what you were all watching that number to see if it went over 152. You guys are crow. Desmond, hello, you're there again today. You need to not do it alone or uh, you get no breathers. Um, uh, consider email for the uh, show questions, chat or comments on, for, uh, for only comments only. That might be an idea. Th this is not the show the way it's going to be, although I'm telling you, for some strange reason, this seems to be effective. Uh, and I, I have, you know, I didn't expect that. I thought this is the you know this is the cheap shot version of the show we're going to do, and now I've t I, after I did this yesterday, I told Albert I said, you know maybe, maybe, uh, uh, we should do it kind of this way. In other words, the camera having this kind of coverage of me, you know, and the the close up, and just the talking into the camera. And then they're taking the phones and listening to people and just keeping it very personal like this. Uh, because this, this, I think, does work. Uh, it's effective because it's new. But to be sustained, you'll need to produce it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. 
But uh, anyway, uh, and I respect Desmond's opinion. There's no more participation. Uh, there's more participation. It's just not just somebody with headphones on listening to you alone. Now we're a real community. Well, oh wow, we just hit an 160. Um, Desmond says, I'm available. <laughs> Maybe you should explore that uh, we just want to deal with you, not all the bells and whistles. Um, this is a medium that I think may be good uh, in simplicity. Uh, to turn my show when we do it from a studio in, into a, you know, um, let me put it this way. It's nice to know that if I lost everything, I mean, I lost the, the studio that I'm using, uh, closes down or something, or uh, Albert goes out and gets a really good job somewhere and I need to do this alone, it's nice to know I can do it alone and that you're there. Now the question is, are you going to be there a week from now? Are you going to be there two weeks from now? Are you going to be there a month from now? Uh, are you going to look forward to this every day? Uh, that's going to be the big question. Right now, everybody wants to watch this because, you know, the monkey is losing his job. They want to see him dance. Uh, but what, what's, what will happen down the road? Will we either grow from this base or will we fail from this base, uh, lose this base? It's going to be, uh, it's going to be an interesting, it's going to be an interesting vision. Uh, a lot of people, even the people who fired me today, were congratulating me, saying, we think that the, the Internet thing might really be a good thing for you. I still got to figure out for uh, Albert and myself how to make a living out of it, how to get enough numbers. I don't have the metrics on this right now to know how many people are actually watching this channel. I mean, there are people watching right now. Well, I don't know if that comes under the view, so, see? Uh, I know how many people are watching right now, but I don't know how many people are watching over the whole day. I know that any one time there are this many people watching or that many people watching, but I don't know over the whole day how many people are watching, and I don't know where that starts to make money. And I'm not gonna sit around lying about my, my so-called numbers. I do believe that there's a good chance that yesterday we had maybe 1,500 people watch this stuff, so, and the stuff on this page. Because every time I looked at it, we had at least 40, and I don't think that people would watch this for more than 15 or 20 minutes in most cases. In fact, right now it says 165, which is great. But you can imagine that maybe we lost 50 people while we were doing it. So, I can't tell how many people have actually watched this thing. Can we curse in chat, fuck shit, cut pussy? Yeah, absolutely. I don't care. I, in fact, I haven't, I haven't even asked what the, uh, what the rules are about what we can broadcast. I'm sure they won't. And somebody said to me, well, how do you think you can get an audience? I says, well, if we can find a woman who'll blow a guy on the air, I think we can get an audience. Uh, my screen says 173. You just hit 173. Thank you. Wow, that's amazing. That is just amazing. God, I've been doing this for over an hour. I'm not to quit. I'm not picking my nose, it's just itching. Uh, Tina uh, Richmond Huddleston, I may not always be watching live, but I'll be here. Most of the time I listen to a recorded version of the series show, so this may be en ending up being the same. Well, you can always, here's the thing, once we're through doing this, this becomes archived and it will be here I'm going to get rid of the last archive, but th this will be here for the next uh, uh, 24 hours. And when we finally go live, we may go back two weeks with uh, um, the archives. So you, you can watch all the shows. You can watch any of the shows you want. If you're tired with one, you can go to another. Uh, Peter Patrick says, come on, dance for daddy. I wish I could post pics. We could post pics. I, I don't know what, uh, you know what I can do though here? I could ban a user if I wanted to. I'm not going to. Delete a comment. Um, 174, wow. Somebody just mentioned. Somebody's keeping a count. Every time it goes up, they go 174, 175, 176. Um, and we seem to be getting more people as we go on. 
This is very strange. I'm just tempted to take myself to exhaustion. And, uh, and uh, you know what I need, need here? I gotta get a hand puppet. That's what I gotta get. If I'm gonna do it from here, I, I gotta get a hand puppet. You know, because then I'll be going like, you know. Hey. Do I have a hand puppet? I used to have a hand puppet, but I don't have one anymore. All I've got is uh, some of this crap back here. And these are all my these are all my DVDs back here in case you haven't noticed. And what I've done, if you notice, there are big blank spots in here. Uh, this was all filled with DVDs, and I started converting them to uh, files, so that I have all my files on network drives, and, uh, and then I can watch any movie I want to. But anyway, listen, I got to do some work. I think. Uh, I, got, I got some a few things I have to do for tomorrow for, because we're going to the studio to set some stuff up. Where are we on numbers? 173. Yeah, we just lost two people. So I think I think that could be a good excuse for me. Uh, also, if you're watching us and you haven't well, you, and you haven't followed us, that means you can't chat. And and so if you follow us, if you somehow give in to that, which means you have to sign up for it, uh, it's no cost. Uh, it just adds to our follower numbers, and that makes us feel good, too. Um, let's see here. Um, go back to Tiny Alex that was like a hand puppet. Tiny Alex, I'm trying to remember that. 178, but we are, it's, it's up to 178. Keep talking, Alex, still your horse. Um, Megan Belknap, uh, they, keep, they keep coming up with the numbers. Okay, if all you could do is chat the numbers, I can see that, okay? You guys are driving me nuts. You're wonderful. I, mean, I feel great about this. this is, I was depressed all day today, you know, because they had the, that uh, uh, exit meeting where I had to sign papers, and they told me my rights, and here's how you're going to get paid your money, and all of that. And uh, don't forget on the, to hand in your cards before you leave. You know, that kind of crap. So, uh, you know, that's our whole deal. So I, I did that today, and then I had this meeting with one of the bosses. That was depressing. I had a meeting with another boss. That was depressing. And then I came here, and I was depressed when I started this. But boy, do I feel good right now. You people have just treated me terrifically. Listen, I'm going to sign off now. Got things to do. We'll probably do this again tomorrow. We'll do it maybe at the uh, same time, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That'd be, well, maybe... Three, uh, maybe, well, I'll let you know, but I think three o'clock, let's say three o'clock, and if it isn't, I will post it on the, on Facebook, uh, because I've got uh, James Rose coming in here, we're going to be doing some work, and, uh, you know, but then again, uh, James, maybe you might want to stick around if I have to do this, and we'll do it like for an hour tomorrow. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for joining me, and if you see her, of course, uh, and tell her I love her, okay? Bye, everybody. And I push stop.